Hello everyone, welcome to Mandalay Bay here in beautiful uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, right here on the south end of the Strip. Well, technically Mandalay Bay is not in Las Vegas, it's in Paradise, Nevada. Technically, but it's still part of the Los Angeles, uh, the Las Vegas Strip experience. And uh, right now I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of the entire ground floor and maybe perhaps other floors of Mandalay Bay as well. So let's go in, shall we? We shall. This is the main entrance of Mandalay Bay, as you can see. This is where you can pick up a taxi or, or a valet or get yourself dropped off. So let's go in there and uh, explore Mandalay Bay, shall we? We shall. So this is the inside of, I mean, we're still at the outside of Mandalay Bay. We're gonna go inside to the casino first, and then we are going to explore the casino. Here we go. This tax cab right here. All right, casino. This is the main casino of Mandalay Bay. All right, here's the main entrance of Mandalay Bay. As soon as you walk in, you'll hit the casino. But first, we pull. First, we pull. So as soon as you walk in, first thing you want to do is check in, right? To check in, you walk over here to the check-in area. This is the check-in area back here. Uh, Mandalay Bay opened, I think, in uh, 1998, I believe, or 1999, and it it remains to this day one of the more uh, one of the more elegant and uh, fancy resorts on the Strip. And as you can see, I'm stuck. Let's go ahead and push on, shall we? Let's go over to the check-in area over here. And let me show you the check-in area. This is the check-in area where you can check in. Where you can check in. Let's get here. Um, man, they got rid of the Michael Jackson statue. It used to be right here. Now it's not here anymore. Put it somewhere. The Michael Jackson statue was right there. Now it's not there anymore. Man. Anyway, this is the check-in area. As you can see, there's a long line to check in. Even though it's Sunday, most people are checking out on Sundays. Let's go over to the casino. Shall we? We shall. Okay, everyone. Here is the casino here at Mandalay Bay. Let's uh, go around to the center. Oh, no, let's go around this way. I'll show you where the uh, where to pick up the trams. See, this is where you pick up the trams. That goes to uh, next door to Luxor, and then after that to uh, Excalibur. And that's that's where the tram goes just all the way to Excalibur which is only a couple blocks down see there's a tram station right there let's go to the casino starlight tattoo over there See now we are passing right through the uh, the uh, the games. 
the slot machines. Let's go over to the sports book. Let's see what we can find at the sports book. All right, everybody, everyone, welcome to Mandalay Bay. This is where I'm staying. Uh, you know, on this trip to Las Vegas, I've stayed at many hotels in Las Vegas. Actually, this is my this is my second time staying here at Mandalay Bay. Let's check out the House of Blues over there. There's the House of Blues. I don't know if they're open yet or not, but that's the House of Blues, man. House of Blues. That's the entrance to the House of Blues. Man. All right, let's go down this way. Over there is the entrance to Mandalay Place. If you want to walk to the next hotel, which is uh, the Luxor, that's where you go. There's uh, some shops, a, a lot of shops there, and cafes and restaurants along the way until you get to Luxor. All right, so now I'm still walking through the, the casino, the slot machines. Now let me show you the sports book. Here's the sports book. The book, the sports book, sports book. Here's the sports book at Mandalay Bay, everyone. Here you can bet on any sporting event going on anywhere in the world, anywhere in the nation, anywhere in the world. Also, you can, if you're not a betting person, you can just come in and check and see how your team is doing there. If you're a, if you're a fan of a certain team, you can go over here and check to see how your team is doing on that day. Right? Right. Like uh, me, I'm a fan of the Redskins, but they're not playing because it's not football season. So, at least they won't lose. <laughs> Alright, so now we're passing by the side of the casino here. We got some, uh, some slot machines over here. Some small, simple ones. And... Here's a cashier where you can get your uh, get your chips uh, converted back to money, and then also your tickets, but mostly your chips. Hmm. Host. All right, let's go over to the side here. And here we can find Lupo Restaurant. This is owned by uh, Lupo is owned by uh, Wolfgang Puck. Here's a little uh, store you can buy your last minute things like water and things like that. So here's Lupo. This sto this uh, restaurant is managed by Wolfgang Puck. This is Red Square. This is another fancy schmancy uh, restaurant here in uh, Mandalay Bay. And that's the statue of, uh, of Lenin with his head cut off. Also, a lot of bird poop on the top. Okay. Now we are approaching the Mandalay Bay garage back here. This is the garage of Mandalay Bay. See that? This is level, uh, the ground level of the garage of Mandalay Bay. So you can park over there. Parking is not free anymore, by the way. Parking here at Mandalay Bay is $15 a day. $15 a day when it used to be free. It used to be free parking, but now it's not anymore. Yep. This is the parking area of Mandalay Bay. You have to 
pay $15 a day for parking. Now it's not, it used to be free, but it's not free anymore. So that's why less and less people are coming to Vegas nowadays because they have to pay for parking. Yeah. Vegas goes under, it's their fault. Because they keep nickel and diming people. $15 here, $10 there. Pretty soon people will just get pissed off and say, I'm not going to Vegas anymore. So, think about that, Vegas. Okay, welcome back to Mandalay. Now we're going to explore the other side of Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay is a very, very large resort. You can, you can get lost in here if you don't know where you're going. And back here we have more restaurants like this one here called Fleur. There's a convention going on today, so there's a lot of people coming in <coughs> from this side of the hotel. It's a convention of uh, marketing or something. Anyway, here's Orioli. Let me show you something from Orioli that I think might be uh, might be of interest to you, especially those of you who are who are wine aficionados. Here at Orioli. Let me show you Orioli here. Check out their wine rack. Isn't that a cool wine rack? I wonder how tall that is. And for people to get the wine, like if you want a wine from the very top there, you get hooked up to these cables and then you get lifted up to where the wine is and then she gets it and get, they get lifted back down to the bar. Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty cool. So you not only need to know your wine, you also need to be some kind of uh, some kind of action star too. Oreo, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the convention center back here. And uh, looks like the convention just let out. A lot of people coming from the convention convention center. Ooh, a lot of people today. There is a place called Strip Steak. So, oh, let me show you this interesting sculpture that's been here for a long time. See these sculptures of human body parts? There's some breasts, and some more breasts, and yet even more breasts, and more breasts. Here's some butts up here. That's a butt. There's another butt. Some torsos. This this thing is, this didn't used to be in color, but it's in color now. Yeah, I remember when we went here last time. This wasn't in color. This wasn't colored. Anyway, back here we have the Starbucks, the ubiquitous Starbucks, which every hotel has nowadays. Every resort in Vegas has a Starbucks. And let's go back here to the convention center and the aquarium. No, oh, they're all coming from there. I don't know what's going on there. Some kind of thing. What's going on? Something's going on there. All right, now we're headed off to the uh, we're headed off to the aquarium, the shark reef aquarium over there. See, right up ahead. I was there one time when the kids were little. We we went here and we took them to the aquarium, and uh, they were pretty fascinated by all the by all the fish in there, and all the fish looked pretty pretty fascinating and pretty delicious. Here's the pool. Let me show you the pool. Let me show you the pool of Mandalay Bay. See, we have a bunch of large windows here just overlooking the pool. This is the pool area of Mandalay Bay. See that? See the pool? That's the pool area of Mandalay Bay.
They call it the Mandalay Bay Beach. I guess it, it's made up to look like a beach. All right, let's go back this way. This is the Shark Reef Aquarium over here. Shark Reef Aquarium over here. Why am I talking with a New York accent? Why? Why am I talking like Tony Monero over here? I do not know. I do not know. Anyway, here's another uh, store. You can buy your last minute gifts and last minute sunscreen for when you go to the pool. This is a big hotel. I think we must have walked uh, from the front desk all the way to here. Well, we must have walked uh, maybe a mile now. That's okay, I walked a mile before. But this is all indoors anyway, and it's air conditioned, and we got a lot of places like this a bar called Border Grill. Okay, we're headed off to the food court. This place is always closed. I don't know why it's always closed. Nobody wants to eat Mexican anymore? Ain't nobody wants to eat Mexican anymore, man! That's stupid, man! Okay, let me show you the food court back here. As food courts go, it's not really much of a food court. They have maybe five or six uh, places there. They got a subway. They got a Bonanno pizzeria. They got a they got a Johnny Rockets. They got a, a couple more couple more things in there, but they're pretty typical food court fare here in Vegas Vegas hotels. And the Shark Reef Aquarium is over here. Here's a place for wedding photography. And this is the uh, the convention center. There's a convention going on. Oh, okay. It's a licensing trade show. Licensing Expo. Okay. I had to come here on the licensing Expo day, not uh, not AVN. Let's check that out later. But now, let's see what they got in the food court. See, they got a big licensing expo going on. I don't think I can go in there. I think I need special special ID to get in there. Which I don't have and I won't get, okay? So let's not even try to get in there. But besides, I think it's it's done. I see I see He-Man in there. Can you see He-Man? I see He-Man. Here's the food court. Look at that. They got bonanos. They got Pan-Asian. They got uh, Johnny Rockets, they got Subway. Yep, food court here. So if you want something quick and something just to eat, you can walk all the way to the food court. The problem with the food court is all, it's all the way back here at the end. If you're staying over at the hotel part, you have to walk all the way out here. And the hotel part is back there, it's a long way over there. So. If you want to go, if you were, if you really want to have your your fix subway fix, then you have to walk all the way from the hotel, the hotel park. Here's another concession stand over here. See, another concession stand. You can buy you can buy sunscreen for. Look at this sunscreen here. How much is that? I bet it's like. I bet it's like $25 or something. Here we go, look at this place. Woo! Psychedelic, babe. Psychedelic, babe. Woo! Okay, here's where you can buy tickets for Shark Week. That's the box office. And then the Shark Week Aquarium is right over here. 
This is a shark reef aquarium over here. This is a shark reef aquarium over here. See? I've been in there one time. That was enough for me. There's a whole other parking lot I didn't know about. Oh wow, look at that. Anyway. Let's see what's over here. Polar Journey, an interactive adventure. Oh. Oh, wow, it's like an interactive show. And over here we have a... I don't know what we have here. I've never been to this part before. I thought the end of the hotel was back there by the food court, but apparently not. I guess this is another entrance of some sort. Oh, just the parking. Okay. Well, this is the end of the hotel then. This is the very end of the hotel. We've, we've walked all the way from the front to all the way in the back.